made in Hollywood. Costume designers are in charge of finding or creating the wardrobe for all of the actors and background characters in a movie. Kara Son began her career in the fashion design industry in New York. Miss Son appeared on the first season of the hit series Project Runway and now owns and operates her own fashion and costume design house. Hi, this is Kara Son, costume designer for Descendants 2. This is made in Hollywood and here is a scene from Descendants 2. Just wait until Emma gives you back. This is my fault. I have to go there and apologize. Where's Ben? Uma captured him. We are now here with Karasan, the costume designer for Descendants 2. We are in your costume truck. Yes. Is that what this is called? The wardrobe yes. truck? Yes, this is the main talent <laughs> truck, the wardrobe truck, yes. We are here. So let's run through some of these awesome costumes. So over here we have Mal. Mm -hmm. And so what was really fun about Mal is, of course, we gave her her new kind of revised Descendants 2 look. And this is her Isle of the Lost look. So is this, this all made from scratch? This is all made from scratch. You all, make this by hand. Yes, I designed all <laughs> that of these. That is so cool. I have a talented team who then, you know, a talented team of costumers and craftspeople. And so this is all hand painted, studded. And the fun thing about all the wardrobe for Descendants 2, which I, I just have to say, is that it's all detachable. So even though she has this aisle outfit on, like the sleeves come off, it can be three quarter sleeves. Like if you just want to wear it as a vest, vest, you take the sleeves off and wear it as a vest. And so throughout the movie, you'll see her wear it in all different types so of ways. So functional. It's so functional. Kenny really is into dancing and dancers and the choreography, so we have to make sure that everybody can move and function well. If you want Beastie Boy back, bring me Fairy Godmother's magic wand. You better hope your girlfriend comes through. You always were quite the drama queen. Okay, so let's move on to Cameron. Yes. These belts are so cool because yeah. I see a Dalmatian. Yes, well, you know, with two. all the characters, yeah. you know, we have their iconic so symbols. Cool. I would use effect. this every day. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so, of course, with Mal, it was her dragon. Her, little, her dragon on the back, of course. Her dragon. With Cameron, it's the crossbones. And then we have Jay, which is fun because everybody's grown into who they are. So Jay is like the big athlete. So like this is one of his school looks. Of course we have totally in style with the bombers, right? With the bomber, and then of course we have his school bag. And his backpack is so awesome. Yes, because it has their icon and their colors. You know, Evie plays the fashion designer of the group, and so she has a lot of really fun pieces. This is her Hero D2 Ooh. outfit. So the fun is this thing. This one piece. This is one piece, and it's actually a jacket, but it detaches, so you can wear it as a skirt. You can wear it as a short jacket. You can wear it sleeveless. You can wear this thing in like five different ways. And you see all her detail, her crowns, and of course on the back, her crown heart. So this is Evie's so little pocket back there, her little mirror. So in all the wardrobe, it's just so fun and whimsical because it has all of their icons on it. And, you know, of course, when I'm designing, I think of the movie first, and I think of the vision of Kenny Ortega and what he wants, and then just really taking that whole thing to the next level. This is between Uma and me. We've been through a lot together. I'm not stopping that now. You could stick a tiara on a villain, but you're still a villain. What advice do you have then for any young aspiring costume designers? Um, I feel if you want to go into costume design, it's such a fun field that you should do as much research as you can and to intern for people. And I have kids emailing me all the time, hey, I have a homework assignment, can you help me? Can you answer some questions? And just reach out to people in the field. See if you can do an internship or become a wardrobe PA and just really find out what it's about. And everything that you do, just go to the next level, next level. And that is all by just really practicing what you do and to just perfecting your talents and your skills. Kids are always emailing you. Is it that easy to get in contact with well, you? Well, you know, I tell them what I did, which is you do some research. You find people's websites, you find out what their email addresses are, and you write a really inspirational, it's, it really does take someone doing that really inspirational email, like, oh my God, I saw your work, I really love it, can you please help me, whatever, and, and you'll find people really respond to that. But if you don't try, you'll never know, you sure. know? So I always tell people, just try it. Mm -hmm. 
Either they respond or they won't, but if they do, there's your chance. Losing, not an option, because we're rotten to the core.